What is up, y'all? It's Cheeseburger TWR back, and it's Cheeseburger Review Time once again. Round four, fight! Yes, and here we are going to do a goodie, hopefully, today. Uh, five guys, or as I like to refer to it as five guys, burgers, and fries, because when I say five guys, I always feel kind of um, iffy about it. You know, if I say, oh, well, I had five guys today, and it's just like... Uh, just crickets and it's like so I don't want to give any misconceptions we did DoorDash some five guys burgers and fries today and of course DoorDash would cross me up today I uh, love DoorDash always get DoorDash and um, so I ordered the burger not too long ago and you know it said it was going to take between 15 and 30 minutes I thought okay I can grab a quick shower well this guy is super on time today and he's just rushing and you know, normally if there's just one burger on the order or one order, they'll wait to get multiple orders or what have you. I mean, can't blame them trying to make a living and what have you. But no, this guy was super on it and just got here. So, I mean, I've been trying to rush. So, <laughs> uh, here we are. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get after it now. So, yes, yeah, so we've got the sealed Five Guys Burgers and Fries uh, bag here. I believe they actually only call it five guys on the website. So I'll try not to be too self-conscious going forward. As usual, they did go ahead and customize the, uh, the bag for me, the receipt, which is always nice. So always good to shout out me. And as you can see, I only got ketchup, mustard, and grilled onion on it. If you've never been to five guys, you can customize your burger however you like it. Uh, it would just come plain otherwise. So um, you know, let's go ahead and get after this and see what we think. It's got the nice Five Guys sticker on the top here. Oh, I normally get fries there. I love the fries at Five Guys, but, um, yeah, just trying to kind of watch the figure a little bit here. So, as you can see, you know, always the, the classic aluminum foil wrapping at Five Guys terrific stuff oh and it's always nice <laughs> oh so here we are we've got a nice thick fat five guys cheeseburger it's always nice it's got the two patties on there it's got a ton of cheese as you can see and i will definitely go ahead and pick this off later too because uh never let that cheese or that little grilled onion there go to waste so let me go ahead and unbun this for you. Uh, as you will continue to learn here, um, one of my pet peeves with cheeseburgers is sesame seed bun. Like, I don't really get the point. It, it's not as offensive at Five Guys Burgers and Fries, but I just don't really see the point of it. And I feel like it's useless and they just get everywhere. It's like sprinkles on ice cream. I mean, okay. Doesn't add to the taste for me or anything. So let's go ahead and unbun this and... Oh, <laughs> they've got a lot of ketchup and mustard on that top bun. Oh, that patty just looks absolutely fantastic to me. And then, again, you can just see, I'm not even going to be able to pull it apart. There's so much cheese glue in there holding this thing together. So, uh, let's just get into it, take a couple chomps, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I did bring napkins over this time. They didn't give me any napkins in the thing, so. Trying to be prepared here, so. It is just very good. The meat is very fresh. As you know, um, I believe they don't freeze the meat at all. And um, those folks working over there at Five Guys Burgers and Fries, they really know how to do it. It's got enough ketchup and mustard to keep it, uh, you know, nice and uh, moist. A lot of people don't like that word, but <laughs> that's all I got right now. So I need to keep that thesaurus by me while I do this. But 
yes, the, the meat is very fresh and tasty and the bun is nice and soft. The cheese is very... Cheese is very melty and tasty and gooey and everything you would love about cheese. And if you heard me making fat guy noises, um, you probably should have because it's definitely a... So, as always, I will finish this probably off camera. And I won't devour it in no time here. But uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So, that is go ahead and we will go ahead and mark the official trusty ranking here rating you may or may not have seen this before but um yes i did want to let you know before i do go ahead and do this uh i've always been kind of a soft grader on everything so we may or may not see rescores for telway and uh mcdonald's so just kind of keep that in mind i don't mean to backtrack but you know you start a new endeavor and you get really excited about it and you know it's like ah oh, <laughs> and uh you know try to get after all those cheeseburgers and whatever so what are we going to go ahead and rate the cheeseburger from five guys burgers and fries this this has got to be one of my favorites i've had it before it's absolutely terrific fantastic if you've never been to five guys go out and do it and go out and get it one thing I do want to warn you, uh, I did go to Five Guys about two, three, four months ago, and I got the burger bowl and no bun, and it was like the worst regret, biggest mistake of my life, and I would not recommend doing that. So, you know, take those extra 240 calories and all the sugars in the bread and whatever, and eat them and get on the treadmill or do whatever you do for cardio to burn it off because it is well worth it. And with that said, the score for the Five Guys Burgers and Fries Cheeseburger is a 91. This thing is very good. And yes, if you've never been to Five Guys, go out and get it. Because it is truly a treat and something that you will cherish and go back for multiple, multiple, multiple times over. And as Raven the Wrestler would say, so it is written. So it shall come to pass, quotes the raven, nevermore. And on that, this is where I leave you. I just want to thank you for taking a look at this and driving down Cheeseburger Road here with me. Uh, if you did, go ahead and like this uh, presentation. Go ahead and give me your best hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Oh! And be sure to click the like button down there. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. And as always, I mean subscribe, but I gotta be me because nobody else can do it. I just gotta be me and wanna be me. So like, subscribe, jingle the bell for me, and uh, we'll get all of these notifications on these cheeseburger reviews. I will go ahead and uh, finish this off here. And uh, again, I do appreciate all of you being here and taking a look inside my cheeseburger life. And again, this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.